Hey everybody, today we are looking at The Quiet Sea from Rose Technics. This box smells just like roses, or at least to me that's what it does. Here's your tips. You get your pamphlets in the bottom there. They're actually on the top, but I put them in the bottom so I could open this easier. The box has a nice magnetic clasp. Here's the outer sleeve. Simple assessment of the specs. I'm going to put that off to the side for now. Nice case. It's perfectly square. This also smells good, like roses. Get a tool, as well as the tips. Uh, looks like the Asgard, what is it, 05H or something like that, shell from Ico. Even has the um, the oval, which Ico is known for, and the oval tips, which um, I, I can't think of any other companies that use that besides clips. This is, I'm trying to do this on the monitor. So, not the easiest thing to do when you can't actually see what you're doing. But I did it. How do you like that? Okay, so it's MMCX. Look at this cable. What a beautiful cable. Has a really nice thickness to it. Well made. Excellent cable for stock cable. There's the uh, Rose Technics right there. All metal connections. I don't know if this comes in balanced or not. This one is 3.5. This feels like metal, so I'm assuming the shell is both metal and uh, resin in the middle. And this part right here. Some nice venting. Now, comfort wise, I found these extremely comfortable for my ears, the shape, and everything. A little small on the smaller size, so they should fit almost everyone. Cable excellent, build quality superb. Um, isolation was excellent as well. So and that'll you know that'll depend. Um, I would have liked to see it come with some more tips because I have uh, one of the cheaper Icos, and that that actually came with like a ton of tips. This one is around 80 something dollars. It's under $90 for this. Uh, it is a dual chambered. It's raining out, so sorry if my voice is a little hoarse. Uh, dual chambered single dynamic driver unit. Brass and gold plated driver unit with self developed topology diaphragm. Uh, exclusive designer locks. Premium zinc alloy CNC machine chambers, high purity four strand monocrystalline copper cable, easy to drive, comfortable and ergonomic shape. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so the brand is Rose Technics. It's, it's the Quiet C. It's got a 10 millimeter dynamic driver, 32 ohms, 99 decibels, 20 to 20 kilohertz. Uh, yep, it does say that it comes in either 3.5 or 4.4. I myself would have preferred 4.4, especially with this beautiful cable. And just looking if there's anything else I should know. Nope. So, okay, let me go to my notes. Let's get down to the most important thing. Hopefully my voice sounds a little bit better. Um, so the Quiet C looks good. It's a solid build. The cable, I, I would give this five stars if I was giving it a build quality. Really top notch. Sound wise, which you can be find be finding if you um, were listening to this. It is very pleasant. It's kind of on the, I don't know, kind of on a, like a relaxed, 
kind of warm, balanced signature. Uh, unique. This is definitely not your critical listening I am. So if, you, if you're not interested in that, um, you know, then you won't like these because these are not for critical listening. These are also not bass head IEMs, even though they do have some really good bass. The mid-range on this is very nice. It's full sounding, full bodied, uh, warmish, lush kind of signature. Uh, bass is very nice and warm, uh, very smooth in its tuning. And you also get to the treble, and the treble is relaxed and uh, laid back. Uh, smoothness there, some detail, you know, enough sparkle and everything. Uh, but treble heads would probably want to hear a little bit more energy from it. That's okay. I like it. Um, I already did the specs, so I don't have to do that on my notes. So getting to the, uh, the bass. Now your bass response on here is very good. There's some good impact in the sub bass. Uh, it's warm, a little bit on the thick side, not overly overwhelming like um, like the Hades. Uh, even the uh, Q1 was more bassy than this. This has a really good kind of like quality, laid back kind of bass. Uh, definitely a nice thump. Uh, it will scale with the music like it could sound neutral on some songs and on other songs It will definitely be presented um, With a nice decent depth to it the Mid bass not as focused on mid bass. It's there, but it does have some really good speed to it overall with with sub and mid bass Excellent speed there. There's some fine details there uh, it is not a detail magnet, but it is definitely some fine details. Getting into the mid-range, it's got a very kind of uh, just overall pleasant response to it. It's warm. There's really good uh, separation between the instruments. And the vocals are quite pleasant and warm, uh, detailed. Uh, there's just nothing here, no harshness, no too much brightness. Uh, no overly thick and muddy. Just ultimately, it's just very pleasant to listen to. I think a lot of people will find this uh, a very relaxing IAM. Something you can just casually listen to uh, and enjoy it. Quite honestly, I do. I like it. I absolutely am in love with this cable. It's beautiful. Tremble-wise, Tremble is... You know pretty much laid back there's details there it's not going to be sh really sharp details there's no offensive parts of this whatsoever there's no in your face vocals there's no uh spiky treble you know uh there's no overdone bass where it just muddies up everything and a, and a big scoop in the mids it is very good the way it is uh Mids present, they're warm, but they, they're not uh, they're not recessed. Uh, you get into the bass, uh, it has enough impact there to let you really enjoy the music. And then you get in the trouble and there's very good detail. There's very good um, just linear performance there. There's not a lot of spikes. And, you know, soundstage is pretty good. Uh, it isn't the most technical I am out there. Soundstage is about average and width and placement is very good. Definitely, uh, you know, you can get away with some games with this, I, I think, in general games. Um, there's other ones that I would say definitely for games because they got elevated bass and they got this almost a natural um, sound stage. This one does everything and it sounds pretty natural too. That's another thing. It has a nice organic tone to it. Uh, up the frequencies from, from treble all the way down to the bass. Just very, very organic sounding. Overall, if I was going to put one label on this, it would be very smooth. I know that's two words, but it is one label. Um, if I could put a, a 
in a nutshell, warm, smooth, um, engaging, just quite pleasant and relaxed. So it's a very enjoyable listen to this, no matter what you're listening to, country, rock, pop, whatever. It will lend itself to that, and it will sound fine. So that's about it. That's about it in my notes. It's very simple to describe this. It is... And I want to get to my notes, if I can get up to them fast enough. So it is a nice, warm sounding. It's got a nice, balanced tuning. Nothing overdoes the other. Smooth, laid back. Uh, there's definitely, you know, enough separation and layering to it, it but it's not a technical set. Just full sounding bass, like if you were listening to some, maybe some full range speakers. Uh, I think the sub bass is a little bit more prominent than the mid bass. There's nice speed there overall, and just overall super pleasant. Very enjoyable. This will be my kind of smooth uh, I am from now on. I definitely will replace the cadenza um, from Kiwi Ears. I like it that much. I really do like this. It is an excellent I am. Uh, if you take into account the things that I said, if you're a critical listener, if you're a bass head, if you're a treble head, definitely not for you. Uh, everybody else, you're going to like this. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Rose Technic Quiet C. Very, very pleasant I am. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.